How's it going, people? Well, it's Christmas Eve, and um, I've been celebrating a bit already. So, since tonight is such a heavy subject, and, you know, it's the elephant in the room, isn't it? Uh, I thought I would do something special. So, a friend at work gave me this. I think he bought a whole case of this. It is Levon Vodka Distilled from the Potato. And it's got a map of Poland that you can see through. It's on the back, but it's all in reverse, so you've got to look through to see it. Yeah. Not usually a big vodka fan. I have a feeling this may last me quite a while. But I picked up a, some Bloody Mary mixes, uh, different ones. Last time I had a bacon flavored one. This is Mr. and Mrs. T's Horseradish Bloody Mary mix. So I'm in for it. I love horseradish, but you may, walk, you may see me cry. Anyway, uh, I have never had potato vodka, so to try a little all by itself. Mm. That's actually pretty good. I don't usually like vodka, and that's nice. Wow. Potato vodka. Levon. Wait, Lvov, excuse me. And it's from Poland. And thank you, Ray. You're a gentleman and a scholar. And I'm going to have a horseradish Bloody Mary mix. That might be a little much, but uh, not driving anywhere. Uh, I've never even seen potato vodka. And it, that's, that's nice. <laughs> All right. Horseradish, huh? Mm -hmm. That's actually really good by itself, and I don't usually like vodka. I thought, I've always thought vodka was just like drinking, you know, jet fuel or something, you know what I mean? But that's really got some nice highlights, and I was, I'm going to have to try a little more of that neat sometime. Alright, horseradish, Bloody Mary. That's good. Making my eyes water a little, but it's good. Alright, enough delaying. Now to the topic at hand. Is there such a place, place as hell? And it looks like a lava flow going down a like a waterfall, but it's a lava fall. Oh. Why was hell made? Good question. Hell was, quotations, uh, prepared for the devil and his angels. That's just a portion of a much larger verse, no doubt. And that's from Matthew 25, 41. Uh, more quotations. Uh, God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, dot, 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 to be reserved unto judgment. It had Second Peter. Two through four. That's some scary shit, man. Off to a grisly start. Mmm. That's nice. Who will be in hell? Then shall he say, also unto them, on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, 
into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. And that's Matthew 25, 41. So it's like the full one this time. Uh, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. Here we go. Got it right. That's Psalms 917. A good place to go when you want to quote. Especially if you're only uh, cherry picking. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. That was considerate. A little late, but it was, a, you know, hasn't even happened yet. <sighs> yeah. I guess Osama's going <laughs> to... He's at the bottom of the sea, Amy. Uh, this, the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead, which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. They threw hell into hell. Is hell not the lake of fire, or is the hell just really complicated? Is the lake of fire like, you know... A, those black holes that sucks even held into it. I don't know. <sighs> the physics of theology elude me. This is the second death. And in quotation from Revelation twenty thirteen fourteen. But the fearful and unbelieving both of them? I think you kind of have to be, you know, uh, you wouldn't be fearful to be an unbeliever. Think about it. They scare the shit out of you as a kid, and you get over it. I would call it the opposite of fearful. <sighs> yeah, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and uh, idolaters, uh-oh, <laughs> and all liars. Ooh, what a tangled web we weave. <sighs> She'll have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Revelation 21.8. So, scared yet? Well, I'm not done. Might need to make another one, though. I love potato vodka. How about that? Hmm. Are hell's fires eternal? And the smoke of the torment ascendeth up forever and ever. And they had no rest day nor night. Revelation 14, 11. Where their, where their worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. And that's from Mark uh, 9.48. Had something useful to offer. Teeny. Would have fit inside a, on a fortune cookie slip. But, you know, got to find it where you can, you know. May a sinner be saved after death. Depends on who you ask, I suppose. Let's see what the Mennonites think.
Mmm. Mmm. It's even got like a chewy texture. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Hebrews 9.27. Doesn't really mention that second death. You know, they, they got picked up somewhere else. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And that's John 3.3. 3. The God that people would like to believe in is not the God of the Bible. Like a dead tree trunk, the popular God has no eyes to see. You ever see those on a tree trunk? And I mean, not to see with them, you know. Maybe a trail cam or two. No ears to hear, unless you got microphones out there connected to trees. Uh, I'm trying to help here. I don't think I'm doing a good job. And no arm with which to punish the ungodly. <sighs> yeah, you won't find that on a dead tree trunk. None of that. So what do you... Stop bowing down to a tree trunk. Some of you must be doing that because they brought it up. The God of the Bible dashed sinning nations to pieces as we would break pottery. Yeah, sometimes it seems like that happened. But the God of modern man has no judgment in its hand. He has sheathed his sword and is sitting down. An indul indolent, wait, an indulgent, an indulgent, stir. an indulgent weakling. Damn your eyes. The arm that once visited vengeance upon unrepentant sinners now hangs nerveless and they think paralyzed. That is their God. Yeah, that straw man God. Probably why he's no good. He's just a straw man anyway. Why worship man's wishes. Such is not the God of the Bible. Be like the Mennonites. They don't really want anything. I mean, yeah, sort of. They, yeah. You'd never see them getting us on the moon. But it's cool, you know. I mean, I love their, uh, you know, their jelly and stuff. And other stuff. I mean, they do food really nice. And they're kind of cool. I mean, I'm telling them jokes in Dutch and then laughing their asses off amongst them. Just thinking, wow, I didn't know they could be like that. I mean, they were laughing a lot. And I didn't know what the hell they were saying. But it's, I was still kind of laughing a little. It was really enjoyable. Yeah. I don't mind Mennonites. I just, this is their tract. Checking it out. Okay. The true God is unchangeable. I am the Lord, I change not, is a word that hits modern thought and popular infidelity on the cheek, and that will one day put an end to all unbelief. <sighs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <sighs> Guess what you call getting book slapped. <laughs> Bible slapped. Or something that starts with a B. 
Ugh. He who reduced the city of Sodom to ashes, who destroyed Jericho with its inhabitants, and who gave Jerusalem to the Roman armies. <laughs> yeah, they would have got him otherwise, you know. <laughs> it wouldn't have happened without God fucking with his own people. Because they slipped up somewhere again. Or somebody did. And they knew who they were. Maybe. <laughs> and what he has done before, he can do again. So watch out. God is merciful and just. But that's where the problem is at, you know. Just what? <laughs> mm. It's so thick, man. It's like I'm drinking a soup. Damn. Full of stuff. Mr. and Mrs. T's. Horseradish. Interesting. Yeah, he, gave, he gave Jerusalem to the Romans. <laughs> and who gave Jerusalem to the Roman armies is the one who says, I am the Lord, I change not. And what he has done before, he can do again. There we go. God is merciful and just. By giving the Old Testament law of Sinai, he set forth his justice. By sending Christ to die for our redemption at Calvary, he is shown to be redemptive. Wait. To be just and merciful. Just something. Merciful, I don't think, is one of those things. What? <laughs> He's merciful for not crushing me at this moment. You know, rolling, rolling dice, rolling dice. A hey, God who is all mercy and who is not just is not is is an idol of your imagination but only then but not this one of course a special pleading going on there he is not the god of the bible justice and mercy are the pillars of god's throne and the day you will take away justice and the punishment of sin, you have denied the true God and made one of your own imagination. One who is not the God of the Bible, the God of Calvary, the God of heaven. A little repetition going on here. Mm -hmm. Somehow that seems healthy. I like it. Just, you know, not for all the time. It's Christmas Eve. There is a hell. Be sure of that. Okay. Boom. They just answered your question. With logic. L7 logic. The... Hebrew people took their idea 
of what of of that awful place from Hinnon's Vale, a deep gorge on one side of Jerusalem. Here, King uh, Manasses, Manasses passed his children through the fi the fire to a god called Molech, which the th uh, thunder drums drowned their dying screams. Receptacle of every conceivable filth and impurity and to consume it. Fires were kept constantly burning and the stenchful smoke always lay over the horrid veil that what a vivid illustration of hell. Yeah, I, I know because my dad used to have a place downwind of a glue factory, a rendering plant. Ooh. -hoo. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Pretty bad. Doesn't anymore. There is a hell. Though some tell us that all alike, saint and sinner, will turn up in heaven at last. <sighs> they say that the murderer and the murdered, the seducer and the seduced, the hater and the hated, the robber and the robbed will all be in heaven at last? They believe that all these are to receive God's blessing at the judgment throne. Explanation point there. I didn't do it right, but there you go. A strange heaven indeed were the hypocrites and the whoremongers, drunkards and backbiters and blaspheme, uh, blasphemers dwell with the saints in heaven? In the undefiled home of God? Uh, to be continued. This is very nice. Never thought I could just drink vodka straight, but this stuff here, wow. I like potato vodka. It definitely tastes different than I'm used to. Yeah, you could enjoy this all by itself, I think. In moderation. Okay, let's see how I did. Oh, yes, that is wonderful. Back to hell. You cannot throw sin off as you would do your clothes. It is a part of you and will live with live uh, and will live when the sun and moon pass away. That sounds pretty scientific there. <sighs> God. 
Bloody Mary you can chew. Others contend that they will die like a dog. Hey, I like dogs. I think they're awesome. What do you mean? I mean, how about say like die like a cockroach? I'd get that. I mean, dog dies. I mean, it's like a person kind of. Some people. Us weirdos. I like a dog. I guess, I guess in a way that is true. Everything that dies would die in a similar fashion to a dog dying. But that doesn't need to be really clarified, does it? I totally got lost here. Hang on. Die like a dog. One has said... I die a sinner and am no war, no more ever after. The coffin that holds my body in the grave of my soul and, of course, punishment of any kind in eternity is an impossibility. In quotation, well, I don't know who would say such a thing because anything's possible. Anything is possible, I guess. Maybe not just in, maybe not anything, but yeah. I can't say it isn't possible. I just say it's highly improbable, and I ain't sweating it. Highly convincing and um, fishy. Like the like the bumper <laughs> bumper uh, sticker, you know, <laughs> fishy story. But this is not what God says. To your Bible men said, wait, to to your Bible men, and let us have the truth. Yeah, men. Read it to your wives. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> Just saying, who knows? How primitive you want to get? I never asked. You just hate to be rude to these people when you meet them. They're really sweet. As a matter of fact, it's an impossibility. <laughs> it's like, I like them. It's kind of the same thing with Mormons, actually, and quite a few Muslims, actually. It's like, like these people. They're interesting because they're different. Imagine that. That would be interesting as opposed to everybody being just the same. And you're all comfortable, but not so interested. To your Bible, men, and let us have the truth, whatever it may be, as long as you arrive at the conclusions they want you to. Careful what you say here. I went, I took that you up on that offer, or you know, I've, I've been at that crossroads. <sighs> it's quite a journey, and I won't bore you with it today. The eternal God has spoken. Hear what he says. The wicked shall be turned into hell. I think they already said that before, didn't they? Well, anyway, that's Psalm 917. All right. Uh, wait. Yeah. Three times in one chapter, Mark 9, are tender-hearted Savior speaks of a worm that never dies and of fire that never shall be quenched. 
Now, as your soul, as your soul is at stake, answer these questions. Did the Lord Jesus lie when he spoke of the unquenchable fire? Ah, might not be, I'm, I might not be lying if I say something possibly might be happening, even if it isn't. I'm not lying, it's just that it was possible. I don't know. Kind of a strange way to, strange question to start off with. Strange thing I've phrased. <sighs> did the Son of God, uh, did the Son of God picture a lie when he showed us the rich man lifting up his eyes in torments and begging a drop of water to cool his tongue. Yeah, that's really interesting. The other Lazarus story. The one from Luke about a guy named Lazarus in a parable. A, a named character in a parable. Interesting. Named Lazarus, a guy who, yeah, but an unnamed rich guy, he doesn't want to be resurrected. And he's like, you know, in Abraham's lap or something, or in his bosom or something interesting like that. Yeah, that was Luke. Then, you know, we got the other Lazarus from the book, the Gospel of John. But this guy does get resurrected. Same name, probably a coincidence even though they don't mention either one elsewhere. <sighs> Did he mean to frighten souls with lying pictures of that which never existed? These are some really dumb questions. <laughs> I need to get my Dungeon Master manual out, you know, my player's handbook, and go over it again. Oh, wait, the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, the Bible says lots of things, and if you're really good, you can stitch together quite a thing. Quite a, quite a little uh, <sighs> theological crazy quilt. <laughs> Frankenstein. <laughs> Chimera. A sermon. Uh. Of course not, you say, for God cannot lie. Well, then let that settle the question forever. Didn't God send like a lying spirit to Saul to torment him with lies? Didn't he? Not sure he told Adam and Eve the truth either. Seemed like the snake was the one telling the truth. I don't know. Would a God lie? I don't know. I don't even know how many, you know, how much wood a woodchuck would chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Don't even know that. Your dumb questions. <laughs> Did he mean to frighten souls? Yeah, all right. If there is no hell, there is no heaven. Ipso facto, I guess. Except, really? Are you sure? How do you know any of this? <laughs> I don't see how anyone can really say they know all this stuff, even if there is any reality to it. I need to find out where I'm at again. I'm at the end, aren't I? Well, 
for they have the same foundation. God. God's truth. If hell is a fable, heaven is a fable too. There is as much proof in the Bible for hell as for heaven. Yeah, zero. <laughs> Matter of fact, there's no proof in the Bible. The Bible's too much of a question mark to be proof for anything. <laughs> it's just interesting. Amusing. <laughs> the threatenings of eternal punishment are as numerous as the promises of eternal happiness. That is interesting, isn't it? Good point. Can't wait to see where they go with this. There is a hell. To the extent that you have your soul to the extent that you have your soul. What if you don't have a soul? I don't know, I can't I don't have much soul. I wish I did. To the extent that you love your soul, let not doubt rest in your mind on this point. Oh, well, that settles everything. Checkmate. Oh, oh. wow. <sighs> was easy. If there is no hell, then Jesus is not God. For the book that tells of the one who tells of the other. We plead with you to flee from the wrath to come. Confess your sins. Own Christ as your Savior. And so make sure that you will not go to that terrible place Prepared for the devil and his angels. The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. And that's Proverbs 15.24. Your sin may be completely forgiven. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Acts 3.19 Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly uh, pardon. Isaiah 55, 7. So much that should not want to trump. <laughs> Send him a tweet with that. Thanks. <laughs> You're like retweet that one.
quotations. Uh, Him that cometh to me, I will in no way cast out. John 6, 37. That's that metaphysical uh, ripcord for your parachute of faith. Anyway, that's it. They rest their case. Uh, hmm. Kind of light, I thought. I like these minute notes, but um, they have a sweet kind of crazy going on. I like that. Um, I don't know. Chime in. Did you learn anything? Have I scared the hell into you? Or you just want some of this? <laughs> Which will send you to hell. Let me know if you learned something. Or have any thoughts or suggestions. Next year is going to be interesting. I'm actually going to be doing some things. I got some plans. Peace. Fuck out. And have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I know by the time you see this, Christmas will already be passed. Had to cancel my internet up here. It was just messing up too bad and I'm not here enough for it. I'll get internet again later. But whenever I can connect again, I'll put this on.